Trey Miguel returns to Impact Wrestling. Impact YouTube's channel hits 4 million subscribers. Braden Lee debuts on Explosion. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, January 31st uh, on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. You might want to head on over there. January 31st, 7 p.m. EST. My interview, the Sunday special interview, I should say, new podcast debuts. And my very first guest on that show is a person we're all familiar with, Aiden Prince. And uh, we spoke about Impact Wrestling in detail. I asked him why he feels Impact Wrestling haven't signed him yet. Uh, and it was a really, really good interview. So the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network Sunday special interview. It debuts on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network this Sunday, January 31st. 7 p.m. EST, my interview with Aiden Prince. You're not going to want to miss it. Head on over there, hit that subscribe button. And for everyone that has done that already, that has head on over there and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. There's a lot of great content on there. So go ahead, check out my YouTube channel, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network, and please hit that subscribe button. All right, so let's um, get into the Impact Wrestling stuff. Trey Miguel. Trey Miguel is back in Impact Wrestling, and that is just fantastic, fantastic news. We found out that he was the mystery partner uh, for Rich Swan, uh, Tommy Dreamer, and uh, Willie Mack, and that was, that was fantastic. Caught me by surprise. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, I initially was feeling Jake Crist. I thought maybe it's going to be Jake Crist. Uh, so that was my pick. When when the episode started, um, the Impact Wrestling episode started, I was like, it's it's probably going to be Jake Crist. Uh, but we all found out it wasn't Jake Crist. I was wrong. It was Trey Miguel. And man, you know, well, we lost, we, we last saw Trey Miguel, uh, the emotional send off for the Rascals, uh, him, Dez and Wentz. Um, they were all supposed to be going to NXT. But as we know, uh, Dez and Wentz went to NXT, and I think they're now a team called MSK. I think it's a faction. I think I saw a faction with them with two women. Um, but uh, they're in NXT. Trey Miguel, Trey Miguel, he uh, he stayed back. He decided maybe NXT is not, not best for him. Maybe he realized that heading on over there that – Maybe uh, he doesn't want to get lost in the shuffle. Uh, maybe he doesn't want to start at the bottom. Maybe he wants to be a top guy, and uh, he knows he has a better shot at being a top guy in Impact Wrestling than heading on over to NXT and wrestling in some tag team matches and and um, clawing their way up, and hopefully they can get to the main roster. And if they do get to the main roster, um, they're just probably going to wind up getting buried anyway. Uh, so I think Trey Miguel, you know, realized that. Again, you know, this is just me speculating. Um, I guess they realized that and said, oh, maybe Impact Wrestling is is actually the best fit for me. And uh, he returned. And from what I understand, it's not just a short term thing. It's a uh, he's it's a long term thing. It's he's he's back back from what I understand. Uh, so uh, he's not just back. He's back back. Uh, so that's that's great news. That's great news. Uh, and I know BQ talks about it. That was why he released a um, a podcast earlier in the week where he talks about Trey Miguel. But I couldn't be happy. And you know, I and you know, I'm I'm glad he's not back as as rascals. Uh, Trey Miguel, he's going into the ring doing all that stuff. I'm glad he's not doing that anymore. Uh, it was childlike. Uh, it was almost immature. This is more of a grown up Trey Miguel, a more mature Trey Miguel. It looks like that uh, we're getting and and the sky's the limit for Trey Miguel. The sky is the limit for Trey Miguel. He can be an absolute top star in Impact Wrestling, and uh, I'm glad he's back. And I'm glad he's back. So welcome back, welcome back, Trey Miguel. Very happy I'm back, and I'm look forward. I'm looking Looking forward to seeing what you do for Impact Wrestling in 2021. And like I said, I, I heard you. I heard that uh, it's it's not just a short term thing. And I hope that is correct. I hope he's around for a while. And um, Impact Wrestling, lock this guy up. Lock up Trey Miguel. Um, again, thank you, Trey Miguel, for coming back. Thank you. 
Thank you. I know it was an emotional send-off, um, brought tears to many eyes, Impact Wrestling fans' eyes, uh, when you, uh, the rascals, left. But I'm glad you decided to come back. And um, let's see what you can do now. Let's see what you can do now. I'm expecting big things from Trey Miguel. All right, so Impact Wrestling's YouTube channel has hit 4 million subscribers. That's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. You look at AEW, AEW only has 1.94 million subscribers. Uh, Impact Wrestling, 4 million subscribers. So the next time you see on social media or a troll um, posts, um, when posts on the impact wrestling posts, like um, who cares or, or one more nail in the coffin, or this is the final nail in the coffin or, or who cares about impact wrestling or nobody cares about impact wrestling. We can now respond 4 million YouTube, YouTube subscribers care about impact wrestling. So great news, great news for impact wrestling. I think impact wrestling, what they need to do now it's with 4 million subscribers compared to AEW's 1.94. I think Impact Wrestling needs to get a show such as AEW Dark on their YouTube channel. When you look at AEW Dark, I was looking at some of the views for AEW Dark. While they got, like I said, 1.94 million subscribers, a lot less than, than, than Impact Wrestling, 533,000 views on an AEW Dark, 635,000 views uh, for an AEW Dark. Uh, so Impact Wrestling needs to get a show on there. They should move Explosion. They should just, and I know I've been saying this quite a bit, they should just change the entire format of Explosion. And they should make it a new talent showcase, just like AEW Dark, and put it on their YouTube channel. Because right now, all they have on the YouTube channel are clips from the Impact Wrestling TV show. And you're seeing 15,000 views. You're seeing 21,000 views. Um, if it's a good clip, maybe they'll hit uh, close to, or maybe even they'll, they'll hit 100,000 views. I'm sure they have a few videos up there that have more than that. Uh, but the majority that I look at, looked at is 15,000, 21. For, for someone that now has four, for a channel that now has 4 million subscribers, they need to be getting content up there that gets more than 21,000 views. Because if someone's watching the show, on Tuesday night, they're, they're not really interested in watching the highlights. I mean, because they've already watched the show. You need to get some new, fresh content on the YouTube channel. And I believe BQ agrees with me on that. <laughs> uh, so I believe BQ agrees with me on that. Uh, but uh, we, we've talked about it before. And uh, again, explosion, make it a 90 minute show, 90 minute explosion, get some new talent, showcase new talent, put it on exclusively on YouTube. And um, let's see how it, do let's see how it does. There were 4 million subscribers. I mean, there's no reason why AEW 1.94 million subscribers uh, can get 533,000 views on an AEW dark. Uh, there's no reason why impact wrestling can't get those same numbers if they put on, uh, fresh content, uh, like a new talent showcase on their YouTube channel. There's no reason why they can't. And you're looking at, uh, you, you say, well, AEW Dark, they got the top, top young talent, but none of them, none of them are signed to a contract. None of them, none of them are signed to contract. You look at like someone like Danny Limelight. Danny Limelight is, uh, he's been on AEW Dark for quite some time. I think he's had his first match um on aew a very very talented wrestler but he's not under contract with with aew so if people are tuning into aew dark to watch danny limelight um he's not on the contract he also wrestles for new japan pro wrestling uh he's on the independent scene he could if impact wrestling started an own, their own new talent show and put it on youtube i'm i'm pretty sure they could get someone like like danny limelight uh, like casey navarro now we're seeing um week after week on on AEW Dark, Casey Navarro could come over. I mean, you have Blake Christian, uh, Lee Moriarty, you have Kobe Christ uh, in the Maritimes. Uh, you have Nick's The Natural Sullivan, Suplex Machine. Uh, all these guys would, would fit in nicely, and they could they could they would really have something if they could just put together a new talent showcase and put it on their YouTube channel that now has four million subscribers. So that's. That's what they should be thinking about. And hopefully they are. I know they're making a lot of, a lot of changes. We, we got the new announced team, which is fantastic. Um, 
2021. We got the AEW Impact Wrestling Partnership. Uh, so they're they're making a lot of positive changes, and this is an opportunity for them to do make another positive change. So hopefully uh, they're thinking about it, and hopefully we'll see a new talent showcase on the Impact Wrestling YouTube channel um, in the near future, because I think that's a smart move. I think that's the way to go for Impact Wrestling. And uh, if you agree with me or disagree with me, let me know in the comment section, but I think that's the way to go. It doesn't have to be, I know AEW um, Dark is like almost two hours. It doesn't have to be two hours. Just put an hour show, you know, hour, hour, 20 minutes. Just um, get some new fresh content that's YouTube channel exclusive. Okay, so speaking of, of of explosion, Braden Lee, very very talented young wrestler, and he's another another guy that they could get on uh, on a new talent show on the YouTube channel. But Braden Lee made his debut on Explosion against Sammy Callahan. I know I touched upon it last week briefly, uh, but I watched the match, and this guy is freaking amazing. He is freaking amazing. So, so, so talented. Uh, of course, he lost the match. He's not going to go over on Sammy Callahan. Uh, but he had some really nice spots. He attempted a 630 splash. Uh, Sammy Callahan moved out of the way. But 630 splash that he hit. Wow. This guy is just, just fantastic. And... When we see him, we see Blake Christian. Uh, they need to they need to wrap these guys up, man. Or uh, even if they don't wrap them up, again, I'm going to go back to the new talent showcase. They could put them on this new talent showcase week after week and build it up, and uh, build up their um, build their status up, and uh, get them. Uh, Get them on Impact Wrestling. Sign them to a two, three-year deal. Uh, this is what they should be doing, man. This is what they should be doing, man. Uh, but uh, but I, I've already spoke about that. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to talk about that too long. Uh, but let's go back to Braden Lee. Uh, but Braden Lee really, really impressed me. Really, really impressed me. I want to see more Braden Lee on Impact Wrestling. I hope this is not just a one and done thing, uh, as we have seen in the past with uh, Lee Moriarty, uh, Trey Lamar, uh, Ben Carter. I hope it's not just a one and done. Um, a lot of potential there in Braden Lee, and I think he would fit in nicely in the in the X division. So hopefully we will see more of Braden Lee. And um, great match, great great match against Sammy Callahan. Um, so this, that's what they need to do, man. That's what they need to do because I think the week before an explosion, the week before I think it was uh, Rhino against Mahabal Mahabali Shira. Uh, okay, mm, you know. Not really exciting there because, you know, that's a match we could just see on a regular show. But the explosion should be just showcasing new guys, you know, matches that were talent we're not going to see on, on the main roster. So that's why seeing Braden Lee on, on the show against Sammy Callahan was really a treat. And again, great potential for Braden Lee. And it was good to see him get this opportunity. And I hope, um, I hope, uh, you know, they, they they see something in Braden Lee and they bring him back for a few more matches because uh, I definitely would love to see Braden Lee back on Impact Wrestling. Now, this was a pretty good week. This was a pretty good week for Impact Wrestling. Uh, Four million subscribers on YouTube. The ratings, the ratings went uh, up way, way. Well, I won't say way, way up, but their ratings increased. Um, this whole AEW Impact Wrestling uh, partnership with Private Party has gained momentum and and um, lots of uh, positive energy there for for Impact Wrestling. Lots of great stuff. Lots of positivity. Positive, positive week. So, so what is the sports to do? What is the sports to do in the midst of all this um, and all this uh, popularity right now for Impact Wrestling? What's uh, what is what is sports to do? Um, they released an article. They released an article entitled "The Ten Worst TNA Champions." Yeah, the ten worst TNA champions. I didn't read the article. I didn't. I didn't read the article. I didn't. I didn't care to read the article. Right? Impact Wrestling. Lots of momentum going to this week, and the sports show decides. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, hey, what's going on here? 
what's going on? Impact Wrestling is, is getting a little too much momentum this week. We're going to have to try to kill that momentum and release this 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 article, uh, 10 Worst TNA Champions. Uh, yeah, let's, 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 let's run with this one. Let's run with this one. You know, too much momentum here uh, for, for Impact Wrestling. We've got... We gotta we gotta put our foot down and try to stop this. You know what's going on. You know it's 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 stupid. You know, first of all, the, it seems like all sports releases are these, these stupid top ten lists. It's it's just dumb. And I I am I'm actually friends with a of, of a writer. Um, and uh, used to write uh, for the sports there. And he said, that's all they do. That's all they made him do was write these dumb top ten lists. And uh, it just. Terrible, terrible, terrible timing on their part to release. Uh, well, maybe it's not terrible timing. Maybe it was planned on their part to release uh, this this very negative uh, article on TNA slash Impact Wrestling, the ten worst TNA champions of all time. So, just you know, it's just it's just pure garbage. It's just pure garbage. Again, I didn't read the article. No interest in reading the article. Impact Wrestling has got tons of momentum this week, as I said, and. Um, you could try all you want, Sparsa, but you're not going to kill it. You're not going to kill kill the the terrific momentum that Impact Wrestling has, and this momentum is just going to grow and grow and grow. Uh, Impact Wrestling finally on the right track. Uh, again, they need to. I think they need to do a few more things. Um, as I stated earlier, again, I don't want to harp on it too much, uh, but they should really, really consider. <laughs> They should really, really consider a new talent showcase exclusively for the 4 million subscribers on YouTube. You know, really, really should, could, should consider that. Okay, and that's the last I'll say. That's the last I'll say on that. Uh, but, um, yeah, great momentum for Impact Wrestling. And uh, don't let um, – websites like sports to try to bring you down with with this with this garbage you know you, you see the article don't even read it i don't even know who's on it i don't even care to know who's on the list all i all i care about is no surrender good brothers defending the titles against private party it's going to be a great match and uh, we also found out that uh, rich swan at no surrender and last week i called it genesis and i knew i was making a mistake i couldn't remember the name of the, of the show and i do apologize uh but uh, no surrender uh, we did find out that rich swan will be defending the title against bq's favorite wrestler <laughs> tommy dreamer so tommy dreamer gets a shot at uh, Rich Swan, uh, I, I, you know, I, I kind of, I kind of like it. It's, you know, Tommy Dreamer has been in uh, professional wrestling for a very, very, very long time, and, and dare you, dare you say, could, could you, could you call him a legend? I, I think he's, he's very close. I think he's close uh, to being. He's, he's definitely an ECW legend, but he's close to being a pro wrestling legend, and he put a lot of time in. And he's turning fifty years old apparently uh, next week, and so as a birthday gift as a birthday present rick swan is going to give him his first shot at the impact wrestling heavyweight championship so that's cool that's cool i'm all for that i don't just don't think it should have been on no surrender it could have just been on you know impact wrestling uh their flagship show um maybe next tuesday he gives him a shot it doesn't have to be on the impact plus um event no surrender uh but that's what they're doing and i'm cool with it i'm cool with it and and i know on uh, social media um they asked um could Tommy Dreamer become the world champion at No Surrender? And the answer to that question by me is a resounding no. He has no chance. He's not going to win the title. We all know he's not going to win the title. So let's not let's not pretend that, okay, Tommy Dreamer might walk away with the title. You know, is Tommy Dreamer going to win the title and then lose it back a few days later? No, he's not. Rich Swan is going to successfully defend the title. We all know that. We all know that. And it's going to lead to... Um, um, a match with Moose uh, down the road at a uh, future pay per view. Um, I think the next pay per view. Oh, geez, I forgot the next. I, it's it's Rebellion, right? I think it's Rebellion. Is the next of the is the name of the next pay per view? I, I'm I'm bad with I'm bad with names, man. Sorry, uh, but I believe uh, the next pay per view is Rebellion. It's Rebellion with the. Uh, with the little Omega symbol in it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll 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 look it up and correct myself next week. Uh, but uh, I know Kenny Omega is going to be on that show, and I was thinking it's going to be Omega versus Rich Swan. So I'm wondering when Moose is going to actually get his his title shot. I I was I figured, I think it would have made a little more sense for like I said Tommy Dreamer to get the shot on Impact Wrestling TV, and then at this event, Rich Swan against Moose 
um, for the Impact Wrestling World title. Uh, but we'll see. I'm sure Moose is going to get his shot down the road. Uh, as Moose said, he's going to call his own shots. Uh, he was offered the match last week. He didn't want it as Rich Swan pointed out this week. Uh, but I'm sure eventually we're going to get Rich Swan against Moose. So um, we won't be disappointed. We're going to we're gonna get that match sooner or later, sooner or later. Um, but, but again, Rich, I'm sorry, Tommy Dreamer has absolutely zero chance at defeating Rich Swan for the Impact Wrestling World title. But uh, hey, 50th birthday present. Um, happy birthday. Happy birthday, uh, Tommy Dreamer, uh, but you're not walking out with the Impact Wrestling World Title. And and if he for somehow if he does, if he does walk out with the Impact Wrestling World Championship, I really think that BQ will stop watching Impact Wrestling. <laughs> I really believe that BQ will say that's it, that's it. I don't think I'm going to watch anymore. I'm just kidding. I don't think he'll ever stop watching Impact Wrestling, but he'll he'll be disappointed. He'll be very vocal about it, but that's not going to happen. The only the only thing that as I as I said a little earlier that that could happen is a very very no. I'm gonna. I know they said. I know this. I said there was no chance at um, Tommy Dreamer winning, but maybe I'm thinking just there's like. A point zero 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 one percent chance that he wins the title and then he loses it back to Rich Swan three days later on on Impact Wrestling on the Tuesday night. But uh, no, I, I I doubt. I think that would be terrible. I don't think that would happen. But there's a slight chance. You know, fiftieth birthday. You know, maybe with Scott Demore's good friends with. Uh, he's like, let's let's give him a three day run. Let's give him a three day run with the title. And. Um, no, not, sorry, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's move on. Uh, Rohit Raju. Actually, we're going to close with this. Rohit Raju uh, was talking to a mystery man. Uh, I shouldn't say a mystery person. It could be a woman. I don't know who. Uh, it, but uh, saying that... Um, Next week during his uh, X Division title match against TJP, we're gonna uh, we're gonna find out who this mystery person is. And now Rohit Raju is saying, "I brought you in. Uh, now you're gonna have let's let's get the job done." Or something along those lines. And you're thinking, who is this person? Who could it be? Could it be Mahabali Shira? Uh, could it be um, Raj Singh? Is Raj Singh back? Um, former Desi Hit Squad member. I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to predict, and I I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope I'm right on this one. I hope it's his independent partner, Karam. I hope it's him. Rohit Raju slash Hakeem Zane, who he goes by, the name he goes by on the independents, teams with Karam. If you're familiar with uh, he, Hakeem Zane and Karam on the independent scene, you'll know that they make an absolutely fantastic team just an absolutely tremendous team and i would absolutely love to see karam in impact wrestling with rohit raju so i'm predicting it's going to be karam i could be wrong i might be wrong but i hope i'm right i hope i'm right if you haven't seen them go to the go check it out go type in rohit raju karam on youtube i'm sure there are some videos on there uh, but they are an absolutely fantastic duo and fingers crossed fingers crossed that it's going to be karam that will be in the corner of rohit raju next week and i i'm i'm thinking rohit raju and this mystery man they're going to regain the x division championship I, I, i'm predicting they're going to regain the x division title next week if it's karam then yes 100% Rohit Raju will regain the exhibition title with the help of Karam uh, next week. Um, that's that's my bold prediction for next week. Uh, and I, I hope it rings true. I hope it rings true. Karam, very, very talented. And man, I would love to see that. I would love to see him appear on Impact Wrestling. I can't wait for next week's show. It's just you know, I, I, I gotta know. I gotta know now. I mean, I, I'm thinking about sending Karam a message on Twitter. Are you the guy? <laughs> He's not gonna tell me, of course. Um, but um, oh my gosh, wait a second. Wait a second. This just hit me. It could be Jackson Stone. It could be Jackson Stone. 
that would be great as well. You know, while Karam and Rohit Raju are a great, uh, Rohit Raju is a great team on the independent scene. I know, um, I know Jackson Stone was in Nashville, and we haven't seen Jackson Stone yet. Oh my God, scratch that! It, it's okay. Don't don't scratch that. Uh, I'm still going. It's going to be Karam or Jackson Stone. That's that's my uh, that's my pick. That just hit me now as I was talking, because it's it's. I think now I think now the odds the odds now favor it being Jackson Stone, because like I said, he was in Nashville during those tapings, you know, the last set of tapings. Um, and Jackson Stone or Karam? That, that's that's who I'm going. That's what's going to be. Either one would be fantastic. It would be great to see Jackson Stone finally in Impact Wrestling, but it also would see it would also be great to see Karam um, with Rohit Raju in Impact Wrestling. Personally, if it was me, I would go with Karam, team him with Rohit Raju, and bring Jackson Stone is Jackson Stone in on his own. Uh, so it's going to be either one of the two. So there we go. So those are my that's 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 my final prediction for next week. Um, the mystery person is either Karam or Jackson Stone, and you heard it here first. <laughs> okay, all right, man. Well, that's it for me today. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Lewis Carl, and this is Shooting Up North. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye bye.